If you've ever driven down Highway 165 in Pineville, you've probably seen that big barn that sits there all empty and abandoned on the hill at Central State Hospital. That dairy barn is on the National Register of Historic Places and it's owned by the state, but it's been out of commission for years because of lack of upkeep. Now there's a group that's trying to save the dairy barn and return it to the life of usefulness it once had. Take a look. The picture almost paints itself. I can't describe it any other way, but it is emotional. The old dairy barn in Pineville sits on this hill overlooking Bulow Lake and has since before it was a lake. Built in 1923 by a former patient of Central State Hospital whose campus it now shares. That success story lives on, but Kendra Van Cleef worries that the barn she's grown to love will not. I have one vision, to save it from disrepair. That's why a team of assessors are here taking a tour with their tools. It's an opportunity for people to actually touch and see and feel the inside of this fabulous structure. First stop, the barn's loft. Just a spatter of sunshine, but a whole lot of soul. And I thought, how many people had walked up here, worked up there, worked days, hours and hours, lifting hay, moving hay, and it brought me to my knees. It made me cry. When you're downstairs, that's just office space. When you go upstairs, everybody got excited and said, oh, look at this. That's why we need to save it. And save it, they'll try to do. But David says it won't come cheap, probably three to five million dollars to make it useful again. That's the next step. We work on that. Kendra Van Cleef says saving this piece of history, saving this work of art, saving this dairy barn is worth the effort and expense. It's just stunning. And look at the view. It could be anything. It could be anything. Really, it could. It could be so much. Thomas David told me that after the initial assessment, he doesn't see anything structurally unsound about the barn. It could be repurposed. However, we are still awaiting that official report. If you'd like more information on the dairy barn or to get involved in saving it, we have all that information for you online at KALB.com.